The terabyte is for the most part just a tool. By itself it's fairly useless, but should you be the proud owner of one of these bad boys, then the terabyte is a must have. I mean, there is another reason to own it, but we'll get into that later. The terabyte is by no means cheap. If you were to simply go to Warstock Cash and Carry, you'd notice that you aren't able to buy it. And this is because to even buy the terabyte you first need to own the nightclub, which is gonna set you back another million or so dollars. Or you could be a cheapskate and wait for sale, but I'd say it's worth it. First you're gonna need to go to Maze Bank for closures and buy yourself a nightclub. In my opinion, they aren't really anything too special, so you should just get the cheapest one. But if you have the money, then go for it, buy the most expensive one. I personally don't care about your financial status, so go ahead. And now we can finally get to purchasing the terabyte. Much like in real life, you can buy a sophisticated hacker van from your local online store for around a million dollars. But of course, there is customization. I mean, what, do you expect a fully functional vehicle when you buy it? Of course not, that'd be silly. So let's quickly go through the customization options. First off, you have the interior tint, which changes the color of your terabyte. These are, as you could probably guess, purely cosmetic. All right, up next, we have the decals. They, again, are purely cosmetic. So if you don't have the spare money, I'd say skip it for now. Alright, next we have the turret station. Uh, it can be a bit fun for a while, but is it worth $300,000? Well, not really. Up next we have the drone station. This I'd recommend buying if you have some spare change, and I'll get to why you should get it in a bit. The weapon workshop and the specialized workshop are two things I would definitely recommend getting. The Weapon Workshop gives you access to Mark II weapons anywhere, and the Specialized Workshop allows you to customize the Oppressor Mark II. Up until now you've probably been bombarded by these flying broomsticks, but now it's your turn to ruin some innocent noob's day. That is, if you have an extra 3 million dollars. If not, well then, tough luck. But that is it for customization. Now on to the part you've all been waiting for, how to make money. So, as I said before, the terabyte is a tool. By itself, it's not great for money, but if you have the vehicle warehouse or the cargo warehouse, then you can use it to save a lot of time. I mean, a shit ton of time. I don't know why Rockstar made this so difficult. First up, open your interaction menu, go to services, terabyte, and request terabyte. Then look at the map and you should see this icon. So go up to the blue marker right next to your terabyte and you'll be inside. To your left there should be a massive blue screen which is pretty hard to miss but in case you do, here it is. This is the main console of sorts, where you'll start client jobs and where you'll be able to source crates, vehicles and uh, some shit for your MC business but you won't be needing that. So once you're inside the menu, uh, I would only recommend using the vehicle sourcing and the cargo warehouse sourcing because for MC businesses you usually want to just buy the supplies because buying supplies is more cost effective and takes less time. But for vehicle and crate warehouses, I'd recommend starting the sourcing missions from there. So basically you're going to drive your terabyte right next to your warehouse and then you can just start the source mission from there. You're going to start the mission, get the vehicle, drive the vehicle back into your warehouse, and then you can go right outside into your terabyte and start a new source mission. It's that easy. Alright, um, next we have something not many players have experienced in GTA Online. It's this thing called fun. So, if you're playing the game for fun, then I would definitely recommend playing the client jobs as well. They're fairly fun, and they have some uniqueness to them. In fact, you've been seeing them play in the background for most of this video. In the beginning, you'll have access to three client jobs, but if you buy the drone station, then you'll have access to three more. And for the sake of having fun, I'd say the drone station is worth it. I mean, the money you get for client jobs is not the best. I'd say it's just enough for a little 40 ounce in a bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? But hey. 
It's fun, and isn't that what games are all about? Anyway, I got sidetracked. Now, don't worry, I'm not gonna include any spoilers here, but here's a basic rundown of the six missions. First off, you have Robbery in Progress, where you need to identify the location of an ongoing bank robbery and steal the gold from inside. Then you have Data Sweep, where you hack multiple vehicles to find a data drive. Then there's Targeted Data, where you infiltrate Life Invader to find a high-value target and take them out. Then there's diamond shipping where you steal diamonds from the Vangelico jewel store. After that there's collector's pieces where you retrieve high value antiques that are transported in the back of security vans. And finally you have deal breaker where you track a target's phone signal and deliver their briefcase to the client. Now you might be wondering where can I customize my terabyte? If you want to customize the terabyte, you should go to the nightclub garage, which is, for now at least, the only place where you can customize it. Now you can't customize it too much, but you can change the color, add turbo, change the wheels, you know, the basics. Also, there's a player scanner, which you can use when you're sitting in either one of the front seats. This shows you some interesting information about players who you target. Also, the terabyte has really high explosive resistance. It can take 34 RPGs, 81 explosive rounds from the heavy sniper, and 17 shots from either the Rhino or the APC. When it's fully upgraded, its top speed is 87 miles an hour, or 140 kilometers an hour. Oh, and also, if you have a wanted level, then you can easily remove it by just stepping into the back of your terabyte. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I think we all know by now that the police in this state are not the sharpest, and after all, they see flying bikes, jets, Hell, even nukes on a day-to-day -day basis. So they probably just think that you're a magician of some sort and give up on finding you. 